What's up, Shackles gang? This is Jalil Shackles, your advice guru, giving relationship advice, general advice, and spreading love and positivity. In today's video, I'm going to talk about why it's hard to quit smoking. Before I get into the topic, please like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you receive my uploads. So why is it hard for someone to quit smoking? Maybe you have a friend that you truly care about and you feel like it's damaging their health and you don't want to lose another person to cigarettes. Or you don't want to lose a person that it really means a lot to you, you know? So how do you help them? Well, here's some of the reasons as to why, and maybe this will help you help them. So one of the reasons why it's hard to quit smoking is because no matter who you tell when you're trying to quit smoking cigarettes, they want to be like, yeah, you know, you should, because it's bad for you. You should never do it. And they come up with all these reasons. Instead of being supportive, it's like, yeah, you know what? I think that's a really great idea. I'm here to support you if you need to talk. If you want to do something different, if you want to distract yourself, I'm here for you. Like, let's do this thing. And if you fall, we'll just start again. We're good. Just by saying those words lets us know that we actually have somebody there for us. Instead of putting out there like, oh, you're a bad person because you smoke. Or you're never going to get through this because you smoke. Like, Or you never should have started. This is a bad thing. This is the worst thing you could do for yourself. That's not going to make a person feel more inclined to quitting. That's going to make them feel like nobody gives a shit about them. So then there's no point in them giving a shit about themselves. That's that's the mentality. Number two. When you smoke, it takes, it takes five to 20 minutes. So imagine you smoke about five a day. That's anywhere from a good hour and a half. If you go less, it's about 30 minutes. But you have to figure out time to basically figure out what you're going to do for the time that you're not smoking. So what I realized works for me is that I actually picked up the Bible and started reading. And then I started listening to music while I'm at work. I continue to do these things over and over and over when I'm continuing to think about it. Or I go and brush my teeth so that I feel refreshed, so that I feel good about myself. Like, a lot of times it's hard because you want to figure out... What can you do with your time other than smoking? And don't let somebody like freaking stress you out within the next five minutes of saying, hey, I want to quit smoking. It does not help when you get stressed out. Okay. And that would be number three. Since your levels, as far as I guess nicotine or the, the, the way you feel after you smoke is like calm, chill, calm, cool, collective. It's just a little spiked. You feel the urgency to run or to do more. And it's just it could just be overwhelming. And you're like, I need to calm the crap down. Because you're getting way too excited. And then next thing you know, somebody just says something little. And it's like, what do you want? Like, And you're like, you know what? I don't want to be this person. I don't want to be an asshole. So then you smoke again. And it could, <laughs> it's that continuous vicious cycle because you don't want to be rude. When you quit, your emotions change. It's almost like the imbalance if you're on your period. I never had my period before. I'm a guy. But I'm just saying, I could imagine it with the different mood swings. It would be the equivalent of not smoking because you randomly get mad. If you're not already an angry person as it is, it makes you like 10 times as likely to go smoke that cigarette or right about to hit somebody upside the head when they talk to you when you know that y'all don't really talk on a normal day basis. Number four, this, just the smell of the cigarette makes it hard to quit. Because if you stopped for a good three days and you smell it, it smells delicious. And you know that you've been doing great, so you think you're going to cheat. It's almost like the equivalent of eating chocolate when you're on a diet. You'll think to yourself, you know what? I can have a little piece because I've been doing a great job and I deserve it. The only difference is... When you eat the chocolate, of course you eat enough or whatever. Either you may get sick or it's like, all right, I get started again. Cool. We good. I had a little piece. I didn't have as much. We're good. Smoking is different because then it makes you feel like crap because you've been going on without it for so long. You forget that it's the thing that actually affects your body to a whole negative degree. <laughs> and it does a 180 and it's like, oh my gosh, I feel like crap. And then you smoke more so that. You don't feel as crappy and that you feel numb. 
Alright. And if I had to say a fifth tip as to why it's hard to quit smoking. Is because if you fall. Everybody ends up ostracizing you anyway. Like people need need to learn to love one another. I have a friend named Alejandro who showed me like the best when it came to it. He had his past of smoking in general and things happened. But what really helped me is not just the, oh, I'm going to throw your cigarettes away. Honestly, that doesn't help. If anything, you're going to get your ass whooped if you keep doing that. But he never actually did it. And I, I greatly appreciate it. He was like, you have to be in control, but I want you to, I want to always let you know how serious it is. I care about your health. And, you know, if you fall, just, just keep moving forward. I got you. And he actually meant it, you know. And if I smoked, I'm like, bro, I'm going to do this. He's like, I know it's hard. Don't worry, dog. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. And with that encouragement and with me reading the Bible and not succumbing to the devil's devices, I felt better about myself. Like, today... I went without smoking, and I felt freaking amazing. Reading the Bible, listening to music, listening to the gospel instead of this music that's out now that's going to dumb your mind and make you feel like the things that you are doing is acceptable. It's not. But you have to train your mind. Like, I'm about to study a whole bunch of stuff. So this is Jalil Shackles. I hope this video gives you an understanding of the mindset that a person has when it comes to smoking and Learn to love that person no matter what. We're all human. So don't be expecting everybody to be perfect. Just little shackles. Doises.